<laughs> he's signing he's signing the checks in the church. He's the one that divvies up the offering at the end of service. You don't want to be on bad terms with the guy that divvies up the funds after the service. You get twenty dollars. It's gas money home. <laughs> but Jesus said, Let her alone. She has kept this for the day of my burial. For the poor you have with you always, but me you do not have always. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus knew that he was fixing to go into the grave. He tells his disciples in a couple of the books, he said, I'm going to go into my death. And they was like, oh, no, surely not. They thought it was a, a spirit. He said, I'm going to die. He had to plainly tell them many times that they was going to die. Mm -hmm. He said, and that's, he, he, he believed it. He knew he was going to die. He said, if he didn't go... Nobody else in all of human history could redeem the sins of all men except for Jesus. Yes. Nobody else could do it. I, I said, if you look at the, the news today, they build a temple in Jerusalem. And they, they're fixed to be trying to offer up uh, red heifers on it. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. That's a scary thought to me. Yeah. Yeah, because that's, yeah. uh, that's a little bit wicked. I said, and I think it's the Muslims doing it, if I remember right. Somebody's doing it. I don't really like reading into that thing because then I get too deep into it. Now I'm a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> We're getting close to the coming of the Lord. And Jesus, he, he knew it. He knew it. They said they're going to build up a temple right where the where the temple of the Lord was. And, so, and they did it. Now they're going to try to offer up sacrifices like the blood of bulls and lambs is going to atone for the sins of the world. So there ain't enough bulls and lambs in the world to atone for my, one person's yeah, sin. It's already been done. I said, you, the second you sin, Jesus. the only thing that was acceptable as payment is the blood of Jesus. Hey, yes. The only hey, thing that's it. applied to the debt that's owed by your entire generations mm -hmm. before you and after. So a few scriptures later, Jesus is going into Jerusalem and he's sitting there and he's he, he, he's done did miracles in his ministry and he's coming to the end of it. He, he's, he's healed the blind. He, he's restored broken limbs, limbs that was no longer there. The, the people that was sick of the bell and the palsy, they, they, they was healed. He, done, he caused the blind to see, the deaf to hear. You know, you remember when he told uh, John the Baptist, he said, y'all go tell him, he said, the blind hear, or the blind see and the deaf hear. Mm -hmm. The dead are raised. Something like that. And he said, He's doing all this, all these miracles, and they're praising him as he comes in, and they're throwing the palm trees before him as he rides the young colt donkey, and they're saying, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Mm -hmm. Yes, Hosanna to the most high. Oh, you know how good that's got to feel when everybody's praising you? Uh -huh. And a week later, they're fixing to stone you. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus. Amen. This is why we celebrate Palm Sunday because when Jesus come in today on on Sunday on the Palm Sunday, he was hailed as a hero. Yeah, they was yeah. ready to take him up as king of, of all Jerusalem mm -hmm. unless he stopped them. It says he disappeared. If I remember, I had a like <coughs> Joseph and smoke signals. Whew. He's gone. <laughs> I, I read this because. Most of the time, the opposition you face in the ministry is in your own camp. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's just the way it is. Internal. Mm -hmm. Because the devil's not just working on you. You ain't the only one going through warfare. Everybody in the church is going through warfare. Yes. If they're not, you better watch out for that guy. He's about to do something wicked. That's right. <laughs> I ain't never seen witches warfare against witches in my whole life. We <laughs> <laughs> seem to know each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't never seen the demons come and try to fight each other. Mm hmm. You ever seen imps trying to jump on other imps? All I've ever seen is the, the, the kingdom of heaven against the kingdom of the enemy. Mm -hmm. It's as wicked as it was back in Paul the Apostle's day. And the best way for the kingdom of the enemy to creep in is through a believer. Or someone mm -hmm. mimicking a believer. Mm -hmm. right. Someone who was once set free trying to get back into bondage. I don't know what's wrong. Oh, with Yes. Many of y'all know the Bible says, Whom the Lord has set free is free indeed. Oh, yes. And that's me, baby. Mm -hmm. I don't know about y'all. I'm going to be free. I'll yes. Sorry. I remember what I came from, and I don't want to go back into it. Yes. Yeah. That's simple. I, 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 it's been a that's few why I don't years agree now, with rehab. But I can still kind of remember the old rhyme. And sometimes I have dreams, and it's like that guy's trying to come back because they're testing my patience. <laughs> 